Hey folks, Tim here from High End Sheep Tech. Now I just uh, woke up from like a three hour nap, but I had these in my ear. Three hours. All right, maybe heard the first two songs and off I went to La La Land. I was a bit tired. The Elector, D10. All right, make sure you check the links in the description below to find my link on Amazon. We're doing like a few bucks. I bought these out of my own pocket as usual because nobody ever donates here. Well, not nobody, but not enough. Uh, you know, if we had every, if every subscriber had thrown in two bucks, I'd have a brand new laptop. Uh, these are right around 29 something on Amazon right now. I believe it's 29 something. Uh, I'm looking at my. Uh huh. $29.99 on Prime. Not a bad price. And for what you're getting, they got a four and a half star review on Amazon. I give them, I don't know. Five stars. Five full stars. That's it. They're that good. So we're going to do the intro and we'll be right back looking down at them from above. We'll be behind the camera talking at you. Let's go do that. Right now. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. We're going to uh, just tell you about TubeBuddy.com. If you are a creator on YouTube, you should be using this. Uh, the link it will be on the screen here, but it will also be in the description below. As you can see, the prices are, those are for the advanced licenses. You could try this for free. Um, they made me a really good offer. After I tried it for about a week, uh, I'm paying four fifty a month. Offer I could not refuse. So check that link again on the screen. Yeah, uh, tubebuddy.com forward slash high end cheap tech, or check the description below when you're done watching the video. And that's all I have. Let's get right back to the video right now. Okay, folks, Tim here, back. And uh, what we're doing today, we're checking out the electors, the D10s. That would be those. And they're way cool. For 30 bucks, you can you cannot go wrong. I'll show you how quick they pair up. To my now, they only pair like one device at a time, usually, but that's cool. I can live with that. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna go over here and lay that down. I'm gonna pull these two out real quick. Mm -hmm. You'll see them, they'll do a little chit chattery, they'll pair to each other, and Look down here. We're paired. So I can sit there and play music all day using my uh, new mobile G3 or my Alcatel or my Axon M or this phone if I wanted to put the music on it. I just don't have the room so we don't do it that way. But, these are fantastic set of headphones, folks. They're very, very, very good. But what I did find, I don't know, uh, I don't know, but about a month after I got these, I don't know if you can see in there, there's the driver way down there. Probably never going to focus. 
But I had some, I get a lot of earwax in my right earlobe. So there I was using a screwdriver like this to kind of you know, break it all loose and dig it out like that. Ooh, icky caca, right? Being very careful not to, you know, punch any holes in the end of the, uh, you know, end of the driver. That'd be a bad thing, right? But there was one particular piece of wax that just, you know, way down. wouldn't come out, wouldn't come out, would not come out. And then so kind of slipped this thing in, and when I finally got it hooked, came back, and the very end here was around uh, one of those uh, little peel off things. I don't know what it was for. Probably something else I'd unboxed over the years. And it laid right over the speaker. Well, unfortunately, and what I didn't know, and by the way, you just drop these in and they lock right in and they charge up. And poofed up. And I had dropped the right earbud in the toilet. Yeah. There's a video on it. Fortunately, it was moments or seconds before it started to pee. So I reached in, yanked them out, or yanked it out. Threw it in my pocket. Well, that's probably toast. I just ruined my earbud. They are IPX5. That's splash resistant, folks. Not threatening the water resistant. And about a week later, I started having issues. And I thought, hmm, volume dropped. And I ended up having to move all... Um, my uh, particular playback is Rocket Player. You know, that's my app that I use. I've used it for years. I like it. I paid for it. I'm using my Google Opinion Rewards. In other words, I got it for free. And uh, I use it on all my devices. I don't use it on the phone where it isn't because I don't have room because I can't expand the storage. So I want to get that Mi A3. But it works super good. And I just changed, you know, I went in the equalizer setting boosted the volume on the right side until it, yeah, it kind of centered up. But it still wasn't very good and I was like, Damn, I, I think I did some permanent damage until I did that little cleanup. And then the other day I put them back in my ear. And my right ear was getting absolutely annihilated. Sounds like, holy crap, that piece of paper peel off thing. I don't know what it was off of. Had fallen down in there. And had perfectly aligned itself over the speaker apparently. This time it finally came out. And now I had to move everything back to center. And these sound Fantastic, and yeah, they are waterproof now. So it wasn't dropped in the toilet that caused it to get a little quiet and make me kind of upset with myself for dropping it in there. It was just the fact that... Let's, let's check that one more time. See how quick they pair up. 
They're going to pair to each other and to the phone very rapidly. Let's see if we can see that. That's it. It's done. I did not play music. You can use just one earbud, just the left one, though. That's the one it pairs to. You can't do both. But these are clicky button ones. You hit it twice to raise the volume, twice over here, or not, or change tracks, or twice over here to go back a track. You hit it three times on either one, and you'll hear it go bloop, and she'll get louder. I don't ever, hardly ever now run on it over 50%. They sound fantastic. You can probably get almost seven hours. 30 bucks, folks. 30. Well, they are charging now. They are. Uh -huh. uh -huh. One shot. Ooh. Red, I don't know why that is. I've never seen that before. We'll deal with it later. So the case is relatively small. It is USB. Ah, micro USB. Two USB. A. B. You can charge the whole case up. Got two LEDs back here. It'll charge up in about, I don't know, an hour and a half. If it's low. But... Trust me, folks. If if you don't use your earbuds all that much, these things will get you through a week. A whole week of use on a single charge. If you're me. And I listen to, I use them with my phone. This phone that we're yeah, doing the video on, the Xiaomi Mi A2. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very cool. But and I, I, unless you can be very gentle with a pointy object like uh, this to clean out your yeah, tubes. I don't recommend using the Phillips screwdriver. But, you know, you just kind of break everything up in there. That's what you're trying to do. And you put your handheld vacuum from Cutie Peak over it and suck out all that crap. If you got a lot of earwax. I don't want to get so much earwax in one ear and none in the other. Uh, But that is neither here nor there. Do I recommend these after three months or two months of using them? Hell yeah! Twenty nine ninety nine. Check the link in the description below. Make sure to like us. Subscribe to us. Share this. Because we could test off the D11s. If, maybe see if they're even better. These are these are dirt cheap earbuds. No, they're no Sony. They're no you know, what are they? Van Apple. But by God, and they are Bluetooth 5.0. IPX5, so you can wear them at the gym, and the cases, I don't know, it just depends on your old-fashioned consciousness, you can throw this in your pocket, hell, this fits in my pocket, with a pack of these in the same pocket, what, yeah, I don't even notice they're there. 
I'm like, did I bring this door out? Yeah, there they are. So, they work. They're recommended. I say, this is a definite buy from Amazon. Read the link below. Read the whole description. Maybe donate a dollar or two to us. So we can get this uh, new thing on my list. That's, uh, I'll show you a picture here at the very end. It's called a Sabrent. And you plug it in. It's a USB uh, device. And you can use USB 2 and USB 3.0. And... You can use it as an external hard drive, or you follow the instructions carefully. They got a clone button, and we all know uh, Tim needs to move up to a larger hard drive on his PC. Might not be the world's fastest PC, but by golly, by gosh, by gum, by golly, a 512 is going to win you a little space the next time. Windows comes in with some god awful update. And uh, it's a clone button. You just hit it. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to you know, watch a bunch of videos and how to clone your hard drive. Just take the other one out of your PC, which is on this PC, the one I have on the Zotac. Uh, right over here. Very easy to get out. Super easy to remove. I can unscrew the sheet at the bottom, slot the cover off, and there it sits. Poofta. So we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, I might order that Sabrent anyway. It's under 30 bucks for an external. Dual, and it'll do full-size hard drives and 2.5 millimeter or 2.5 inch SSDs or like laptop drives, and you can plug them in, use them externally. Uh, it gets very good reviews, and I watched a review on it today from Theo Joe. If you haven't seen his channel. Go just do a look up for Theo Joe and you'll find him out there. Thanks for watching. Maybe later tonight we'll have something else. I don't know. In the meantime, we're going to use Super Duper M Pow. So if you take a remote and say, catch you in the next one.